Hi, I'm Chris Bobois, the founder of GrowCubes. I'm here at Engadget Insert Coin, and I'm happy to show you around if you like. So this is a GrowCube. Um, it is a pressurized environment that uses aeroponics to mist a nutrient and water solution to the root system of your plants. And uh, in that way, it doesn't need any soil. And the pressurization keeps all bugs out. There's no pathogens, there's no pesticides, and there's no fertilizers. There's a network of sensors that work together to basically grow your food in a way that's repeatable every time. All that data is recorded and pulled into a cloud that is then analyzed for performance, and then directions come back and forth between uh, sort of a negotiated conversation between the cube itself and the cloud. We call these grow recipes, and those are just by definition um, a set of instructions on how to grow a certain plant type and what all the parameters and thresholds need to be. You know, what's the maximum temperature, what's the minimum salinity, what's the pH range that is adequate for this plant. So if you imagine having one grow cube and what that could do for your general health and your happiness in terms of being able to grow your own food, there's another point that's interesting in that because they're scalable, if you imagine many grow cubes, now you're talking about vertical farming and um, its implications to urban agriculture are pretty great. You could have a large scale vertical farm based on grow cubes in a city like Brooklyn and you could greatly diminish the overall footprint that the city of New York or the city of Brooklyn um, actually imposes on outside growers. In other words, by growing locally, you actually get healthier food that doesn't have to travel and just tastes better.